thought you were straining it with your hand. I'm like, I taught you how to do this, huh? <laughs> Just. <laughs> like, make, there's not a lot to strain it. it as cold you as possible. basically all that, so that was nice of you. <laughs> there's none left. I thought there. about taking it all, too, like every last drop. You just being like, empty cup. We're the Bourbon Junkies. <clears throat> Welcome back. Wow. I'm Dan. He's Sean. I am about to... Die? Win a whiskey war. Oh, okay. With the correct answers. <clears throat> Here's what we're going to do this time, dude. You know what? There was an intro, right? I guess. Here's what we're going to do this you time. Tell them what we're doing? Yeah. Wheat whiskey war. Cask strength wheat. Well, whiskey war. I, I can't wait for the it's foolproof. Oh. <sighs> So, we're doing a foolproof slash cast strength whiskey war of weeders. Specifically weeders. All right, so here's the deal. Here's how this is gonna work. What's the deal, man? Whiskey war. Uh, we're gonna go through this way and then this way, but then in between the second and our placings, after we place, we're gonna guess them. Okay. This is just a competition at this point. Okay. We're not gonna guess the first way through because that makes people upset. We're not gonna guess the second <clears throat> way through, that makes people upset. Hey. Makers, Mark, Cast Strength, Horse Soldier, Cast Strength, Weller, Full Proof, which is very close to Cast Strength, and the new Larceny Barrel Proof. The reason we're doing this is because the new Larceny Barrel Proof just came out. Our video came out on Monday. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, the previous Monday. Our video came out on the previous Monday, and- it's still a Monday. That's true. Uh, it's a damn good bottle of whiskey, mm -hmm. and it's not expensive, and we both enjoyed it. A, for chocolate covered roses. I completely agree with the rose aspect of it. This is, you know what I just realized? This war, not for me, huh? Nope. <laughs> this war is not for me. Uh, there's a youth or a graininess in this. A youth. This is youthful. It's full of youth, AKA. It's, it's very unlike you. It smells like, <laughs> it smells just like flowers. It tastes delicious. Oof. Oh, it tastes so much better than it smells. It does. It's so ro so rose petally though. If you gnaw it on a rose petal, yeah, it'd be just short of this whiskey. We get cookies with them. In. Really? Yeah. They were brought back from China and given to us. Oh, that's really good. I let you eat it. Coronavirus came from. So. No, I'll let you eat it. Well, does it taste like this? Uh. -uh. If you dip that in whiskey, would it taste like this? Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, there is a, like almost a dry oak-ish. It's borderline perfume. With oak. I like the oak aspect of that, actually. On the nose, but the palate, everything seems to be calmed way down. Um, I like the palate more than the nose. Mm -hmm. There's some oakiness on the finish that's damn good. The upfront, though, has that really rosy, perfumey, flowery. Mm. Deliciousness. I don't like to, it's just perfumey, man. I, it tastes like perfume it's smells. Like uh, to an extent. if you took like a really, really good fruit compote and then you just took a handful of potpourri and we're like, BAM! I agree with that. And then pepped her up. And I agree with that. I didn't realize away. until we got into this that this was made for you. B. I'm glad we have about $8 million on it. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me some of that roasted notes, dude. I like this one. This is, this on the nose, I'm a way bigger fan of. It's way um, richer, it's more savory rather than sweet. You don't like I don't think it's richer. Much. It's richer. I think it's oilier. That's delicater. This is Like richer. this smells really oily. Let me get a little, yep. Oh, I like that. Oh. There's a slight bit of funk in there. I like that Up one. front. That like, one, I'm a fan of. It's really oily, like mm -hmm. super oily. Even after it goes away, it's just nice and coating. It's very flavorful. Yeah. Real rich. Not it lacking in flavor. Up. Yeah. The front end of the palate seems to be the worst. I think up front, it's a little lacking. Okay. Like it doesn't just punch you with something. But it's coating though. Mm -hmm. Makes up. It does, it oils up, and then it just ramps and ramps and ramps. I get a slight sawdust off it. What? Yep. What? Late finish. I get nuttiness on it. Yeah. Okay, so I think it I think it fades off into a, like a sawdustiness. Here's the thing, here's my one complaint. The nuttiness isn't ultra sweet. 
I want like Jif peanut butter if you're gonna give me nuts, dude. Now it's the type of nut Dan likes, huh? Now you know. Don't give me dry nuts. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, uh, it's not even honey roasted. Mm-hmm. It's just dry roasted peanut shells. Which I, which I like. Mm-hmm. I still like to some extent. See for Cookie the Cat. Oh! <laughs> oh, strawberries, dude. I always wondered why they're called strawberries when straws are miserable and berries are delicious. I don't know. When we, every time we have straw and whiskey, we're miserable. Every time we have berries and whiskey, we're very happy. Yeah. Dang, that's like, uh, it's got like that creme brulee, just I, sugary nose on it. I'm a big fan of whatever that one is. I don't, the finish is a little short, but I will say the palate's great. Flavor profile is awesome. It's red berries the whole time. It's just Ooh, yeah. sweetness. It's like uh, sugar coated strawberries is what it is. Almost, I'd almost say it like a strawberry shortcake with angel food cake because it's a little vanilla-y. It fades out into vanilla heavy. Yeah. I, I think the, the vanilla is <sighs> lackluster in the beginning, but yeah, super strong in the finish. Here's the thing. It is, wow, that I get barrel char in the finish. Like I, you probably just, Power suggestion on the last one, like that one sits barrel char with vanilla, a little bit of caramel. That's good. Oof. That's damn good. I haven't hated any of these. So far, A is my least favorite. Just so far, just just profile wise, take the experience out of all of it. I, Are you on D or C? No, I just took another. Oh, B to okay. C. I think B is my least favorite. Right is it? Mm-hmm. Um, A has that one profile that I don't like much, and you do like. Delicious. Yeah, it's that's like that's that is literally Delicious. where you and I just. Yeah. You know uh, when Moses just <laughs> staffed that ocean, the sea. You and me, Red we're sea. on each side of that staff, dude. We just. <laughs> uh oh. Got a D. D for daddy. Oh my gosh. That makes A smell not grassy and flowery. Wow. You love this one, don't you? This is it for you. This is the pinnacle of weeders. How sweet this smells. No. Like, I think it's literally like if you took oh my gosh. sugar and then dissolved it up into this. I don't, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's gonna be fun going back That's, the other way. That is the grassiest gardeny, full of flowers nose. That smells like you walked into a grandma's flower shop down on the corner, dude. She's gonna put you together a great bouquet of roses and a couple lilacs for free because you've been nice to her for so long. But it's dusty and flowery. Those flowers are ripe. What are flowers when they're like perfect? Ripe? Bloomed. They're blossomed. fully blossomed. Bloom the root of blossom? Yeah, probably. Dude, I can't believe I just figured that out on the middle of a video. If you've ever cut grass with roses in it, this is exactly what it smells like in your nostril. I've got a rose bush I've mowed over twice. I don't remember that. I don't taste in. Oh, oh, I hate that. I'm sorry to who, whatever whiskey that is. I hate that. Oh, I just hit my mic too. I'm sitting here laughing because I drank it like a minute ago. I looked off into the sunset laughing. Just knowing I was gonna hate it. Do mm -hmm. you hate it? You don't love it? No. It's here's what I do like. I'm gonna give it a compliment. The late the finish, strawberry laffy taffy. Which I very much enjoy. Strawberry yeah. candies. Like an artificial sugary strawberry. It's very, very sweet. The up front is the grassiest garden of flowers. Ooh. If you took tulips, some daisies, a little bit of roses, threw them in a food processor, mixed it up. Added some whiskey, pretty sure you get You know this. what you have to add into that uh, blender? A couple strawberries. Tiny bit of manure. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna take a break, dude. Yep. I'm feeling aggressive about these weeders. I see that. I'm not a cheap weeder, man. No, you're not. I genuinely do like these four bottles, not blind, I thought. There's two of them. I you thought. Think, we'll be back in a Just little bit. hit the button. We'll be back. No. We're back. I have to go back. We're back. No, no, I don't mean to rank them. That's oh. not the Whiskey War rules. I'm good. a good sport, dude. I will always fulfill my promise. They won't. D. D. You spell again? Nope. On my shirt. Again? My lord. That's a disaster. It, really it cleaned up right here, though, didn't it? It all dried out. Yeah, but it didn't turn like brown. need to. 
I've had whiskey for 372 days straight. Got a calendar inside. Okay. Doesn't smell as bad as it did the first time after a little break. Here's the thing. It didn't get less sweet. Dude, so here's the weird thing is, you equate it to sweetness, I don't have an issue with, I don't I don't smell it and think Ooh. sweetness, which is the weirdest part. It is, man, it's just so artificially sweet. It's like it's ungodly levels of sweet. It's flower petally, which is so weird to me. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's overpowering yeah, in it one is. direction. Yep, it's green grass. Very. Rose petals. The how rose petals smell is how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Rose it, water. Sure, yeah, that's actually a really good way to put it. The Ooh. weird thing is um, proofness, like the proof aspect of not it, bad. not crazy. Like once you get past that initial like it's spike good. of shit, yeah. you're like, oh, this isn't bad. The finish is good. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Just thank everybody for coming. what? I was talking. About, I was talking about C. Oh, <laughs> like thanks like, for being here. You're like thank you guys for continuing to support Dan's terrible habits. C. Okay, can we talk about how if D is going through hell, C is the end of that tunnel. Keep on going. Where the angels' Ooh. tears have accumulated into glasses. The the finish on that tastes so much better oh. than anything of what D tastes like. Unfortunately. So that it's rich and sweet and syrupy. It's mm -hmm. thick, it's viscous. It's red fruit sweetness with a tiny bit of like caramel vanilla on the finish to like round it out. Like that creme brulee type of aspect yeah. you're talking. That's in the finish. Mm -hmm. That vanilla comes through. A little creamy. Oh, kind of swoops her out. I'm a big Fantastic. fan. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write see some Fan mail. You bang. know what I mean? Say bang. Ooh, it smells like Snickers Ooh, bar. I like Holy this shit, now. Dude. Going this way? Snickers bar. Going this way. This smells like candy. Oh my gosh. Dude, it, it does. It smells like chocolate caramel and peanuts. <laughs> it smells in like. In the best way ever. That legitimately is a Snickers bar in a glass. I'm so close to just blending C and B together and seeing what the hell happens next. We'll find out at the end. Dude. Oh my gosh. Smells, dude. I, I, all you need for B was C. <laughs> That's all you needed. It tastes like that too. Yeah. A little bit heavier on the, the think, char. Think about it like this. Hold, just hear me out for one second. You've had a payday. Oh yeah. Think about if you dipped a payday in chocolate. Oh damn, that's, that's it. That's exactly yeah. what it is. It's salty. It's almost, yeah. It's salty and sweet. There's caramel, <laughs> but there's chocolate. It's nutty oh, too. It's so good. Oh, I'm at the end of this episode, these two are getting blended together because that's oh, what those wait, two wait, are. Oh wait, we're supposed to be guessing. Yeah. These two are getting blended <laughs> yeah, together. They are. Uh, holy shit, dude. Wow. That's fantastic now. Dude, like it just needed a smidge of air. I think it was better than when we reviewed it. Did it need air or did it need this first? The sweetness from this Maybe. first? We'll see in a we'll see in a little bit. Let's move on to A. Hey, sorry. This it's... is watermelon? Oh. Watermelon. Um, it's the melon with the water. Why don't people call it vodka melon when they soak booze in it? I got a lot of deep questions. Mm, a little bit. I like bit. that. It's got like a. I like that. A, a twinge of like. I keep thinking margarita. Like I don't hate that. You know, like that. If you got a, a margarita, a watermelon margarita, there's a little bit of salt on the glass. Yeah. You know, it's going to be a smidge sour. Yeah, but that's what you the, want. The, the quill. You want it. Yeah. But you're you're looking for it, dude. People aren't I, ordering margaritas who don't want that. I can't get away from that. Here's the thing. These two, I, I really like B and C. A is really good now. Going this direction, A is drastically better. It's got a bit of better. that sour funk on it, and I don't hate it though. It's done well. Like, it's a welcome thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's interesting. It's, it's not off-putting. Off yeah, no. that's the way, it's interesting, not off-putting. It's still so, sweet, mm -hmm. but it does have like a briny note almost, yeah. which is weird. I, didn't, I don't know if it's a combination of the order. All right, you want A and B some stuff? No, I'm good. You're, you're set? Yeah. I'm actually set too. Yeah. This is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. This is the easiest one we've ever done for me. Yeah. But I also am a diva when it comes to weeded 
clear and distinct order for both of us, which yeah. is, doesn't happen often, but it happened this time. Now, fourth place, Sean and I agree. Oh, wait, I'll, let's guess real quick. Makers. We believe Makers is fourth place. D is fourth place. That's number four, Dan. That's Horse Soldier. Oh, no. Told you. I it's fucking so... told you. I told you. Why is it that sweet? Third place. Uh, A, which is honestly now Makers. One, Makers Mark. Okay. So, third place is Makers Mark, honestly. Okay. I'm actually not too upset by people buying Makers Mark cast print now. It's not an expensive bottle of whiskey. It's not, but I remembered it being more like the horse soldier. See, I, I remembered what in our minds this was more like a Jefferson's cast strength, which we thought super tropical, like juicy fruit. Second place, we both believe was Larceny, Larceny. Barrel Proof. It's salty. It is Larceny Barrel Proof. Wow. So that means first place. I'm really interested to see how that turns first out. First place was Weller Full Proof oh, for yeah. both of us. Yeah. Same order. Now I only have to take one picture. This is the best part. The picture that's up on the screen right now that people are looking at is actually the same for the first time since I started oh, doing so these you pictures. You do left to right, don't you? Yeah, because that's how people read, is left to right, weirdly. How do they coalesce, Dan? <laughs> not bad. It's not bad. I don't hate that at all. Here's the thing. It's not bad. The Every, that's not bad. Everyone's gonna be like, we can't find this. Yeah, just buy that. 100%, a million times over, yeah. just buy large Listen, if you can find this so under good. 100, buy it. And when, if and when you can't, oh, Jesus if you Christ. can find this under 70, buy it. That is little, still literally a liquid Snickers. All right. Yeesh. Well, yeesh. Or the bourbon junkies. Yeesh. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Join the uh, Facebook group, search 100%. bourbon junkies on Facebook. You just wanna hang out, talk about some whiskey? Yep. People doing that all the time. Yep, uh, we're over 700. All right. That's crazy. We uh, we also do some pre-sales and stuff like that. We just, yeah, we, That's, just, we uh, will sell stuff. Yeah. Like we do pre-sales in there for glens and glasses. We just did frosted glasses in there, stuff like that. Yep. Um, be coming out soon. There's gonna be more stuff coming. There's gonna be coins oh, coming yeah. eventually. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. So needless to say, check us out there. Check us out on Patreon. Oh yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I think I said that. We're do the Bourbon Junkies. The proof is in the pour. Buffalo Trace. Oh, Buffalo Trace. It sounds like so good at this. Yeah, they're sons of bitches. They're so good at this.